I'm here with my friend Nick, and I'd like to talk to you about Hannah's Home. It's a special place for ladies that are 16 to 24, pregnant and homeless. As Rob mentioned, this is an important part of our community. Hannah's Home does a lot of good for the people in this community and, th and from outside of the community. We encourage you to be supporters as we are. Our family foundation is a big supporter of this organization, as is Rob's and, and his foundation. And we welcome and encourage you all to be supporters of this. And this short video will uh, introduce you to what they do, who they are. We welcome you all to watch this. Pam, Waterfront Way Foundation is proud to be a big supporter of Hannah's Home. Tell us why FPL is proud to be involved with it. Well, Rob, FPL is super proud to be part of Hannah's Home and supporting such a wonderful organization. And we are part of this community. We all live here, work here, and play here. And it is part of our responsibility and part of what we want to do. It's part of our corporate DNA to support organizations like Hannah's Home that really provide a service that is much needed in our community. It just thrills my soul when I hear that bell ring. When I saw the need here for these girls that had no place else to turn with their babies, and what got, is that what got you inspired as well? Absolutely. And to see these women learn so many new life skills and put their lives in order and on that path to success, it's amazing. When a young mother that needs help walks through these doors at Hannah's home, her life is truly changed forever. Carol, what inspired you to do such a wonderful thing for so many ladies? Knowing people that needed help and realizing that I just couldn't offer a sandwich. I needed to offer a home and hope for their future. I wanted to see them be able to have the same opportunities that I had in my life for them and their babies. When Carol started Hannah's Home, it was to provide shelter for mothers that were homeless. This room was, in many cases, the first comfortable, safe place these girls had to go and, and experience. Absolutely. Um, our mothers come from a history of abuse, neglect, trauma, domestic violence, trafficking, and we really go out of our way to make sure they feel safe, comfortable, and everything from our child care center, kitchen, school room, to their bedrooms, it's a natural family setting so that they can conquer their demons, get over their traumas, but then also really prepare themselves for the future, become self-sufficient members of society. And at the end of the day, uh, we are their family from the minute they walk through that door and forever and ever. It's a promise we have yet to break. And we really love the women that come through this door and will be their family forever. A safe place to stay is critical. And one thing we often forget about is food here at Hannah's Home, they have a fully stocked kitchen for the ladies and their children or unborn children. It's really a blessing for them. How has this helped you? It helped me in many ways. Um, the life of me and my unborn child was my biggest concern. So coming here and having a fully stocked kitchen was amazing. We had different volunteers come in and teach us cooking classes. So it was definitely a transition for me. That's awesome. I'm glad you got to experience that. Thank you. So here in this educational room, what were you able to learn about here? How did it help you and what did you study? I had to make a decision that I want to study nursing. So I did most of my studies in here. I also did my driver license. So they, they helped you learn about nursing and also helped you with coping skills and day-to-day -day life type things? Yeah. It's difficult to concentrate on an education when you're worried about your baby. I guess that's where this play center comes into uh, action for you all. It really does. I mean, we use the child care center here for the moms. They're allowed to check in their children Monday through Friday between the hours of 9 and 5 when they're at school or working or uh, plugged into the program. We want them to get the most out of their time here. So we have volunteers and staff that will watch the children and give them all the love and the attention that they need so that they're um, having a successful day just like their moms. I can't imagine how they could do what they do without this. It's tough and, and my heart breaks for the, the single moms that are out there on their own struggling, but um, you know, we're very blessed to have this home and very excited to be expanding and, and to help more women and uh, children in need. Abby, you've been the mayor of Tequesta for eight years and how has the village stepped up to help Hannah's home with everything that's going on here? How have they helped? 
Uh, the village has embraced Hannah's Home 100%. Doctors, dentists, businesses, they've all come in and helped these young women. Free care, free medical care, free dental care, wow. and many of the women have jobs in Tequesta. So they are brought into the community and then they have a job. The village steps up amazingly once again. Thank you, we do. From daycare to continuing education, Hannah's Home is truly transformational for the ladies and the children here. Carol, how can we help you? Thank you. With our educational program, for sure, and also with our operating expenses, we are so grateful and thankful for any help that you can give. You can contact us at our phone number here at Hannah's Home, 561-277-9825. Or contact our website. Thank you so much. Thank you. When I hear that bell ring, it's uh, it's like that movie. Every time uh, you hear a bell ring, an angel gets its wings from that old movie. Well, every time I hear that chapel bell, I know there's a new baby born into this world with a bright and exciting future because of this home.